What is going on guys? Today we've got a review on a slightly different player going on. If you head over to Moments, you'll find a Ledley King loan in your Moments packs. I'm an interesting one. I don't know if there's going to be an official release for him or this is it, but we've got a Ledley King. We knew that it was in the game because he's been in concepts for... I don't know how long. A two-star, four-star, 6'2", medium-high. Obviously, trait-wise, we're looking at injury-prone and, obviously, team player. And in terms of pace, 80's most definitely not the worst you could see. Good composure, reaction's not bad. Agility balance is, is okay for a centre-back. Solid defending. Physicals could definitely do with a bit of work. So you've got the option of either an anchor or a shadow, realistically. So if we just go ahead and plop him into the team, which is okay because he is a hero as well. So more than likely, he's going to get the three stars, which is not a problem at all. And if we look, for instance, at a shadow, that will give him 88 pace and 96 defending. If we was to go, say, for the anchor instead, we'd get 84 pace, 95 defending and 86 on the physical. Both will keep him controlled, so there's no worries there if we just find him here. I think if... Because it'll give you plus 8 on the strength. That would give you 94 strength. In terms of pace, the shadow is going to be more beneficial. 88 pace. If we're looking at Virgil, 81 is still going for the shadow. I think we go for, we go for the shadow. So let's get the shadow on him. Get that max pace out as much as possible. I think that would probably be my benefit for him. We're going to jump straight into some champs with him. See what he does. Hopefully he's a relatively okay defender. In terms of body type, we... Don't have one, which is always fantastic. Medium high on the defensive. Looks a pretty standard defender. If you're looking for coaching service, foot champs, rivals, or just looking for generic coins, 100k, 500k, a mil, I recommend using SkyCoach at skycoach.gg. Link will be in the description, and make sure on your checkout to use the code JT11 for a discount on your order. I think the only problem we have now with a Ledley King coming out is the fact we have so many centre-backs now that most definitely... Either A, are as cheap as chips to go get, and B, have the same ability of him. I want to see what he is like on the ball. Lovely. A little bit of dribbling. This guy most definitely has not a clue why we've got a Ledley King, but in general, I, I don't see anything too fancy from him. I feel like in terms of a standard uh, centre-back, that is all he's going to be. Varane's going to do a job like him. You could probably get... How on earth is I kept that in? He's going to be like a Rudiger. He's, he's got solid defensive stats. But I think for me, unless there was a reason why he wasn't... That was a great pass. Unless there was a reason why he wasn't released straight at the game. Um, I personally think he would have been doing okay if that happened. But unfortunately right now, I just think everybody's got their centre-backs. And plus... He is realistically only alone, so he's only going to be useful in, obviously, his moments version, which, obviously, you've got a Ledley King playthrough, and then also in maybe friendlies at a minimum. Ledley King watching Henri down the wing. He knows he's got him. Some good pace on him, to be fair. Shadow's definitely the way. Good block. Second block. Keeper. Beautiful. I think in general, like I say, 89 defending is is pretty solid in general for a centre-back anyway. Then having the 86 physicals, even though his strength is, is not quite plus 90s, hopefully there is maybe a potential for a shapeshifter king or, or something different with a big upgrade and that's kind of like their way to bring him into the game. I think him and Virgil would work quite well in terms of a premiership partnership and overall, it's not terrible, I suppose. And again, we're going to see what that passing's like. It's a solid ball out to Messi. It's pretty standard as we like. And again, watching Beckham. Pace on him is absolutely fine. Like, that is absolutely fine. Get the header. He's, he's quelled the danger enough. And again, Aubameyang. Beautiful pace. Lovely controlled work there. Can we find it back out? Lucky. Nice. King on a run. King on a run. Can we find him forward here? Can he get a goal straight away? Pings one in. Oh, imagine. And again, watching him. Great agility on him. To say what? What has he got? 60-something. To say he's got 60-something agility. It's not bad whatsoever. Really feels nice and, and responsive on that agility side of stuff. Risking a pass there. We know he's got the head in. Six foot two. Solid height for a defender. And we need to get rid of Theo as well on my bucket list. Ledley using a bit of strength. Haaland has no chance. Sees him a little bit forward again. Looking for that messy run. We know passing-wise, it's it's just above average. There's nothing too crazy from him. But most definitely enough to get him by. 
Watching that run all day long. Solid defending. And again, watching Beckham here. He's gone for the cross. Good block, and he was offside anyway. Knew what he was doing. So going into the overall four, though, Ledley King. Honestly, he's not an awful card. I feel like there is miles, miles better centre-backs, which we can understand. But the big thing is, he's alone. He's technically free at the moment. You get seven games, unlimited friendlies, or obviously just seven games in general. And you can technically use him in moments if you want it. And that's the big thing for him. He is mainly, I, I believe, designed just for moments at the moment. And maybe then we do see a different version of him come out later on in the game. In general, the shadow, definitely going to be the best way. 88 pace, 96 defending, a pretty solid around stats there. Takes him up to a 91 rated center back, whereas an anchor would more than likely oh, take him up to 91.3. So just a little bit more, mainly because you are getting that anchor ability there. But I would say more pace would be better on him. Passing wise was fine. He's got 80, 75 on the short and long. Can't argue there. Obviously with his agility balance, center backs don't necessarily have a huge amount of threshold with your agility and balance so that's absolutely fine but i do think you could go with a gold varan you could go with well most definitely go with a gold uh, virgil if we look at any other kind of golds that i'd probably go with over um ledley king if you was to look for him in a friendly sort of aspect i know this is the big thing is that you technically can't use him in rivals for longer than seven games but we look at Virgil, I'd say Koulibaly would be just as good. Rudiger, um, a version of Thiago Silva would be nice. Obviously, team of the tournament, flashback, anything like that. Militao, Kayunde, all of them are standard centre-backs with good pace, good defending, good physical. They're naturally a centre-back that is the same as this sort of card. But overall, it's a nice card to have. It's free. It's enjoyable. What I want to know is... Do you want to use him? Would you use a version of Ledley King, a shapeshifter, a captain's? I don't know if he was ever captain or anything like that. Could he be one for your team? Let me know down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you for some more Foot Centurions. Peace.